What's going on, everyone? So I did a video over on AIS, the Laker show, diving into Dalton Connect and how well he'll fit with JJ Redick and how I think JJ Redick is really going to help Dalton Connect potentially even be rookie of the year. But as I'm doing the video and, you know, I'm just kind of going over Dalton Connect and thinking about stuff, the more I talk about him, the more I'm like, the Lakers might have been the best place for him. Like, in all seriousness, right? Obviously, Dalton Connect was as high as, you know, top five in this year's draft on some people's draft boards, um, but was looked as like a top 10 project, uh, prospect, right? That he would be in the top 10 range, and he fell all the way to 17. Now, it wasn't because of his skill set. It was because of his age, really. Right, look at all the people that were taken before him outside of like Zach Eady. But that was just, I think, again, he was the most ready now player in the entire draft, uh, even arguably more so than Dalton Connect. And Memphis is a team trying to win now, and they actually have a need for a big, physical, sizable center. Right, it's the, one of the reasons why they got just dominated by the Lakers in the playoffs was because they just couldn't match up with Anthony Davis stuff. So Memphis taking Zach Eady made all the sense in the world. Everyone else were all young projects, right? Everyone else were these were the tanking teams that all just wanted the youngest guy possible that they could grow and develop and hope becomes a star rather than a guy that's 23 and four years from now, he's supposed to be in his prime where, you know, the Lakers situation, he's a guy that can help now and the Lakers are in an environment to help now. I do think he gets real meaningful minutes on the Lakers. I think, I don't know, I don't, think he'll play enough minutes and have a big enough role to actually win rookie of the year, right? Like you look at, like, again, Zach Eady, I wouldn't be surprised if Zach Eady starts, right? Like he's number one in, in rookie of the year voting for a reason because, you know, he's the most ready now player because of his size, he should be able to impact immediately. We're Dalton Connect. He's going to have to kind of, he's probably going to have a little feeling out stage. Right, I would love if he's just immediately out the gate great, but realistically, he's probably gonna probably take him a handful or maybe a couple handful of games to really get comfortable, get his feet in, kind of get the the pace and the and the physicality and all that stuff of the NBA. It is it's an adjustment period. Where Zach Eady's just he's bigger than everyone else, right? So I don't think there's gonna be this real adjustment other than maybe the pace of the game. Um, but I also think there's an argument that Memphis might even start him alongside Triple J. And just have Triple J be the four, right? There you go. It's problem solved. So I could, I just think he's going to get more opportunity, more touches, more minutes, more everything. Where like Rizache and Sar and those guys, like, I don't think they're good enough right now, right? Like, I just don't. But they're going to get the minutes, they're going to get the opportunity, they're going to get the shot attempts, they're going to get everything to potentially win it. Where Dalton Connect, he's not, he's probably not going to start. And, I don't think he plays more than maybe 20 minutes a game, right? Like, and I think that might even be pushing. He's probably closer to like 15 minutes a game. However, let's go under the assumption, because I think it's a lock that D'Lo, Reeves, LeBron, and AD are going to be for your starting five. I think the real question will be Jared Vanderbilt or Rui Hachimura. But personally, going under that assumption, my rotation would be uh, D'Lo, Gabe Vincent at your point guard position, um, Austin Reeves, Max Christie at your two guard position. Jared Vanderbilt, personally, start Jared Vanderbilt and then Dalton Connect be your backup three. And then at the four spot, go LeBron James and Rui Hachimura and then Anthony Davis and more times than not Christian Wood, but Jackson Hayes for certain matchups. Maybe you could even split the two if you wanted to, right? I That would be my rotation. Dalton Connect probably gets, you know, around. 15, 20 minutes a game at that point. But I just, I don't think he's going to get, you know, eight to 10 attempts a game and be able to drop. Because if he's getting five attempts per game, like he's got to go basically three for five from three every game if he wants any chance, right? Like give him nine points a game, right? So like, again, I just, I don't think he's going to get the opportunity. But I also think he's in the best position for now and the future and the best team to really hone in on his skill set right so again obviously you could argue you know if you went to one of these 
tanking teams, right? You know, let's say he went to, you know, uh, I don't know, what bad team, pick your bad team, right? Let's say he went to Atlanta, right? Could he maybe start at the two over like Boyan Bogdan or uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich? Maybe, right? Because they have really liked Bogdan off the bench. So they might justify it as like, man, he'd be really good at score off the bench. Or maybe he's like the primary guy off the bench. Maybe he plays 25 to 30 minutes a game rather than, you know, like 15 to 20 on the Lakers. Sure, could that benefit him more? Possibly. But he's not going to have LeBron James, who's going to be setting him up, getting him the ball right in his shooting pocket, putting him in the best positions possible. He's not going to be playing on a team that's try, that's winning, right? Like, again, however you feel about the Lakers, they're going to be better than, like, a Detroit or one of these bad teams, Washington or whatever, that he went on. Again, if he goes to Washington, could he maybe play 30 minutes a game? Sure. But he's not going to get the, the experience and the growth and the potential and play alongside guys that are going to make things easy for him, that's going to make it easy for him to just kind of get right into the swing of things. Right, the pressure on him also. I mean, it will be the Lakers' pressure, period. But the pressure of him, it's different when you're on a bottom feeding team, and it's like, eh, you know, how how good is he? You know, how is the where now he's the eighth guy on the Lakers or ninth guy on the Lakers. All right, so he can kind of you can kind of talk to him just like, hey, look, like no one's expecting you to drop twenty a night, right? No one's expecting you to to lead this team to the playoffs, right? We're, we're putting you in an opportunity to succeed and, and have some success. Look who you're playing alongside. You're going to have guys like D'Angelo Russell just feeding you the ball. Boom. Money. Even Austin Reeves can make the play. Boom. Money. D'Lo. Or uh, uh, LeBron. Boom. Money. Anthony Davis. Boom. On the post. Defense collapses. Boom. There's Dalton Connect. Money. Right? Like, And I believe will give him the freedom to, to not only have the green light, but be able to make plays. You saw him in summer league be able to make plays. But more than anything, what coach would be better for Dalton Connect than J.J. Redick? Like, seriously. Maybe Steve Kerr, because Steve Kerr, you know, was that three-point guy and stuff like that. But J.J. Redick, I think, is the best coach for Dalton Connect. Because J.J. Redick's going to understand him. He's going to know where to put him. He's going to know how to properly maximize his skill set. Because, again, they had very similar skill sets. I actually think Dalton Connect, you know, he's bigger, has more athleticism, right? Like, I think Dalton Connect will long-term probably be better than J.J. Redick. But, look, J.J. Redick was no slouch. I just think Dalton Connect's more versatile than what J.J. Redick was. But, particularly the role he's going to play right now this season is, in all the sense, J.J. Redick. You know, that movement shooter, catch-and-shoot guy that can occasionally put the ball on the deck, get to the basket, maybe make the occasional play, but you're going to be looking, hey, you catch that ball, it's going up. LeBron kicks that to you, you do not even hesitate. Boom, ball's up. Right? Like, I think J.J. Redick is going to maximize Dalton Connect better than any coach in the NBA would be able to do and immediately right out the gate. I just, like the more that I think about it, the more that I talk about it, the more that I break it down and kind of get into the teeth of it and the nitty gritty of it. And again, I'm gonna go through all the players, do full breakdowns, like in-depth breakdowns. Once we get closer to training camp, probably like the week out of training camp, I'll really heavily dive into all the players on the roster. I just want to make sure I know a lot of people don't think that a trade is gonna happen, but again, we'll see in like two, three weeks. Um Still about a month out from training camp. Once we get like that week in, I don't think anything will happen. Roster said, I just don't want to make a bunch of videos. And then it's like, ah, oh, man, like now I got to start all over, right? Like, so again, patience with that. I know a lot of people really want me to dive into that and really break down like the basketball side of things of each player. But, and Dalton Connect will be on that list and I'll really kind of break him down to a finite point. But just looking at his skill set, looking at what, the projections and thought of him as a player right out the gate is. Again, who is better than J.J. Redick to maximize his skill set? Everything he does was J.J. Redick's bread and butter. It's like what he did. And now he's going to get the head, he's going to be the head coach of him. I mean, look, as soon as Dalton Connect 
got drafted. They, there was talks and reports. Even Dalton Connect confirmed, like, as soon as I talked to JJ, he was breaking down plays for me. You know, all the ATOs and, you know, pin downs and all this stuff. Like, you don't think JJ Redick has a million ideas on how to maximize Dalton Connect? How many teams are going to do that? Most tanking teams that would have drafted him probably would have just been like, hey, just go out there and play. Right, because they're still tanking, they're still rebuilding, they're still doing all this stuff. No, Lakers want to win and they want to win now, and they're expecting him to be a real piece. They're expecting him to do something. Again, there's going to be a level of pressure because the Lakers. But I, I, when I was talking about pressure, to kind of elaborate more, because I, I know some people would be like, "You just said there's no pressure." I don't mean no pressure in the sense of like delivering on the basketball court. I mean in the sense of like no one's expecting him to be the best player on the team or you know a top three to four player on the team. Where, again, if you went to Washington or you went to Atlanta or you went to one of these teams that are just bad, there's an expectation like, hey, you need to be... Like, you don't think Atlanta expects Rizache to be, you know, a top three, four, maybe at worst, fifth best player on the team? Same thing with, you know, uh, Sars with Washington, all that stuff. Like, of course. But the Lakers, he's the eighth guy, ninth guy. Maybe even the 10th guy. So that, that pressure of like, hey, you need to be great game in and game out, night in and night out. No, and I also think that the Lakers are going to really have more structure for him. Where again, one of these, some of these young teams, they're still trying to get good draft picks. They're still trying to do all this stuff. They're just going to kind of, hey, just go out there and play. Don't worry about it. Right? Like where I think the Lakers are going to be like, no, like we need you here. We want you here. This is what your role is. This is how we want you to play. This is what we want you to do. So on and so forth down the list, right? That's what I think. But I really do. I think the Lakers, I think there's a real, like, sometimes you just see players and you're just like, perfect. That makes so much sense, right? Like, Zach Eady, I thought, to Memphis, made so much, perfect, made so much sense. Wanted him on the Lakers. So hoping he would have fallen to 17. But, and I mean, if you look at it, Dalton Connect was actually supposed to go where Edie got drafted, and Edie was supposed to go where Dalton Connect got drafted. So they basically just swapped. Um, so yeah, but I mean, seriously, like you, there's there's players that you see sometimes where you're like, that was perfect. Like Austin Reeves, to like perfect, right? That's kind of how I feel with Dalton Connect. I think he went to the perfect team for him and his skill set. A guy that's ready to impact immediately. That's, you know, he's not 19 and, and upside kid. I mean, obviously he has upside. He has potential. But he's not a guy that, like, he's a guy that's expected to be able to come in day one and, and light it up. And he's on a team in which he's going to be expected and needed to do that. And then on top of that, he gets to play with in, in a winning culture with a team that's trying to win championships. Gets to play with LeBron and AD. And gets to see what it's like playing alongside other superstars to, to understand and grasp, okay, like, so this is probably what I'm going to be doing my whole career. How will I fit alongside these guys, right? Like, he just is going to get everything. Oh, and top of all that and to add some icing on the cake, he's also playing for a head coach that is perfect. Like, again, probably the best head coach in the league for what Dalton Connect's uh, skill set is. I think it's a match made in heaven. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Past question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you kind of in the middle with that? Do you think like, nah, like, you know, it's not the best team, but it's definitely one of them. Uh, do you think like, no, like definitely is the best team for Dalton Connect. Dalton Connect's going to thrive. He's going to be great. Again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos. I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell and notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.